I hope you find this video interesting and thank you Cookie Group for uh, making this project today and uh, I grew up in a small family, a family of four uh, we grew up in Venezuela Venezuela is a country of 30 million people I was born in Caracas, the capital of Venezuela and Venezuela is also a beautiful country it has a nice and uh, extensive tropical rainforest which includes Angel Falls, the tallest waterfall in the world however I encourage you not to visit Venezuela anytime soon we currently have a pretty bad crime epidemic and if you look in the New York Times you'll find out that our crime right now is worse than uh, any other country in the world uh, Caracas is the most de deadly city in the world however it's a nice uh, beautiful city in a valley where temperature is uh, tropical all year round there is only two seasons wet and dry and uh, it's always around 80 to 90 degrees uh, throughout the year the biggest influence in my life would be my parents my parents are both musicians they uh, sang music together for now around 30 years they made each other singing music in the school choir and the university choir they then sang in uh, the opera house for uh, for a good number of years after school for uh, I think 15 years and I love the pictures they have with a variety of customs my mom is also a university professor she was an organic chemistry professor for 25 years in the University of Venezuela I wish I was as bright as my mom she's uh, something else and I just uh, major motivation and inspiration in my life my dad's uh, second job was a swim coach in Venezuela it's very common for people to have two jobs my dad was a swim coach for many many years uh, until last year actually and uh, he coached both in the United States and in Venezuela and that's the main reason why my brother and I were swimmers my brother and I swam for many years uh, we both actually went to college because we were swimmers primarily and uh, my brother uh, he was much better than me he went to nationals every single year in college and uh, we always thought that maybe he'd go to the Olympics but at the end that didn't happen uh, but however thanks to swimming both my brother and I were able to uh, obtain a college education my brother and I, uh, we uh, we became really close through the whole migration process. There were many times when my parents weren't with us. And uh, it was just my brother and I since uh, most of high school and then uh, college. So I think uh, we developed a pretty special, strong uh, bond. Even though we're uh, very different in many ways, we're also very similar in other ways. And I think uh, we learned a lot from each other. To explain all their major influences in my life, i got to go back to tracing my family's history. My dad is one of three children, oh, however he really didn't know his brother much. His brother and his father died when he was four and uh, as such as he was raised primarily by his uh, mom Josefina, my grandmother, and uh, their, uh, the, the siblings, her siblings. Josefina is my grandmother and then her two siblings were Hilda and Celsa and then my uncle Jesus. Uh, he was primarily raised actually by the, the four women because my uncle got married pretty quickly and then uh, my aunts and my grandmother, uh, they moved in with another woman. So it was four women and uh, my dad. That probably made my dad a little more spoiled than the average teenager. He wasted one time his college money buying a bow and arrow for a course he had to sign up during the summer. His uh, dad, however, uh, was a pretty tough guy and uh, we uh, we miss him dearly in the family. He died when my dad was four because he was one of the organizers for an expedition to knock out a dictator in the Dominican Republic, Rafael Leonidas Trujillo. Uh, this is one of the few pictures of my dad and my grandfather. And uh, my brother is named after my grandfather in memory of him. Uh, dying uh, such a, such so abruptly. The movement he was part of was called, uh, ended up being called Constanza Maimon Yesterondo, and they led to another movement called the 14th of June. Uh, the 14th of June of 1959, with the support of both the Venezuelan government and the Cuban government, Cuban government, they uh, organized an expedition to uh, take out Trujillo and try to repeat what had happened in Cuba with the Fidel Castro uh, takeover of the government. This expedition uh, took place before Castro was communist. Uh, however, there were probably communist sympathizers within the people that my grandfather was uh, uh, fighting with. 
And uh, but they were trying to take out a dictator that had massacred 30,000 Haitians, among other uh, very repressive measures to control, uh, to stay in power. Uh, Trujillo uh, renamed the capital, uh, rename um, pretty much everybody had to have the, the Trujillo's picture in their own house and say God and the, the boss. But uh, my grandfather uh, was one of the less than 200 people that fought in this expedition to try to take him out. And uh, they were, however, um, unsuccessful, and most of them were killed in very brutal ways. One of the youngest persons to take part in the expedition and that died in the expedition was my uncle, Alfonso Sintago, after who I am named. And it is uh, this reason that this event was, was in many ways very important to me. Uh, having the name of my uncle, I always felt that I had to uh, live up to some of his, those expectations. And what I mean by that is uh, live a good life and at the same time remember that there are things worth fighting for and uh, losing your life for. Um, they were called freedom fighters and they're called the mortal race in uh, the Dominican Republic. They have a monument to them now where uh, my grandfather's and uh, my uncle's remains are. And uh, I hope uh, I'm just hope I live a good life in that sense and uh, live up to my uncle's name. This is a picture of both my dad and uh, his sister, both of the, the two siblings that survived and uh, they grew up after this event happened. And this is uh, where uh, my dad, my grandfather's place is in the monument. This is a picture of my mom's siblings, there are five children all total and uh, they're all professionals and they're all still uh, uh, they're pretty close. However, they did uh, break apart a little bit after my grandparents died on a car accident when uh, I was two. Uh, some of them, one of them was still in college, for example. It was a very tragic event for my mom's family. There were, uh, my grandparents were also both professionals and uh, my uh, grandmother was the first female to obtain a doctorate degree from her state in Venezuela. Yet, the influence in my life of my grandparents wasn't my grandparents directly, it was more um, one of their, one of my grandmother's uh, brothers, uh, an uncle that was pretty close to my mom, uh, my uncle Simon. The person that influenced more, influenced me most from my mom's side of the family would be my, uh, my mom's uncle Simon. Simon and I, uh, I share his birthday uh, out of 365 days, we're born on the same day, so probably that's why he impacted me in a very strong way, and he had just that charisma as a person. I wish I knew him better, but uh, I, I honestly don't didn't know him as well, as, as well as I would have liked. I knew him in the sense that, uh, I mean, when he would see me, he would be very gracious, and uh, he'd tell me things like, read hard or study hard, but uh, uh, he was a very busy man, so I didn't actually get too much of a personal connection with him in that sense. Uh, he was close to my mom. My mom is right there on his shoulders in that picture. And uh, that's probably why, because how close my mom was to him, that he uh, was so uh, important for me. And also, uh, he was a man that, again, he stood by his beliefs. And that's probably why he didn't actually obtain a higher political office in Venezuela. But uh, he, was, uh, he was a well-known and respected figure in Venezuela and a university professor, uh, a very good historian, he has a very interesting books that he wrote and uh, that's probably why I also studied history when I was growing up. So between him and uh, my uncle that died, probably the two strongest influences. Since I was born on my uncle Simon's date, my mom's uncle, uh, she thought about naming him after him. So. Uh, these are probably my background, two of the people that I have always wanted to uh, carry with me and remember. So then, who am I really? Uh, well, I mean, those people influenced me, but I'm just a kid that grew up in Venezuela, migrated here, and I uh, hope he's able to uh, help some people through uh, working through education and um, particularly focus on open education and the capabilities of technology to spread access to uh, um, qu high quality educational materials and also uh, credentials. I had the opportunity to be here, who knows why, part of it may be luck and a lot of it, I mean part of it to effort, who knows, probably 
I mean, just uh, some of the serendipity of life. But uh, I do want to make sure that in my life that I am able to help other people have the same type of opportunities that I had. So this is probably, uh, I wanted to put him here because uh, Steven is another brother of mine. And also AJ is a pretty, pretty good friend and uh, also kind of like family too. But uh, Steven uh, went uh, up to Arkansas with me. Uh, he followed me there to uh, swim there too. And uh, he's a uh, brother from another mother. But uh, he, uh, he does a good job in keeping me uh, normal, I guess, sometimes. He's a really good brother to have. Uh, he's uh, more about just the now and having a good time and uh, enjoying life. Which uh, it goes again. I mean, what's uh, life? The service or the you know the the enjoying of life too, the experiences. My dad, he also knows how to have a good time. He can't drink anymore. He made that promise to my mom when he was sick the last time when she she had a brain tumor. So he brought he stopped drinking after that. He was drinking a little bit too much. But uh, if somebody knows how to relax and have a good time, that'll be my old man. He's always uh, cheerful and cheery and. Uh, and he gets a little bit too stressed sometimes, but uh, he, he knows how to relax. Mm, how to relax is something that we uh, probably lack right now. Too much uh, lack of sleep, if anything, and, uh, and not enough relaxing. This is finally my parents have a house here in the States. We migrated, avoided all the crime down there, all the corruption, and I was able to uh, live our, our part or piece of the American dream, uh, a life that it's. Uh, more uh, peaceful in that sense that you don't are not worried about getting killed at night but uh, I do think that people today work a little too much and there's not enough uh, relaxing for a lot of people and that we're using uh, technology to uh, instead of simplify our lives a lot of times to simply try to be more productive and uh, there's that uh, whole aspect of oh I just need to be more productive I make more rather than uh, enjoy my life a little more and uh, my family last in the video but the most important part of my life it's uh, left at last because she's uh, my today my now it's my wife and um, we met at the University of Florida well like, over a couple of years ago so and uh, we've been married now for um, a year and it's been amazing I mean uh, I'm glad I met her she uh, she's also one that uh, believes that life should be more than work and enjoying your life and uh, she uh, she loves traveling. She traveled around the world for six months before uh, going to get her master's. And uh, she's a trip. She's one of the few persons that I think when I met in America, I didn't feel like, oh, he's foreigner. That felt that I was different. But that actually, considered me like, oh, Alfonso. And uh, I don't know, she's just a trip in that sense. It felt, you know, genuine. And uh, yeah, like, I mean, that she valued me for who I was. And she's like that with everybody. And I really admire that aspect about her. And that admiration for her is what led me to get married to her. And uh, I think she's amazing, and I can't wait to have a little kids and uh, have a good family with her, and I enjoy the rest of my days. Uh, I, that's going to be postponed for now. She's starting law school here at the U next year. So uh, it's going to be just busy, busy, busy in the next uh, few years. But I uh, can't wait till uh, that cools down after a while. But uh, anyway, I'm. Uh, but anyway, I'm looking up for uh, this new page in the story, this new adventure, and it's going to be fun, and it's going to be crazy, and it's just going to get funner and funner, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I think I was a little too long, but uh, I enjoyed making it, so I hope uh, if you watch part of it, that you enjoyed watching it. Uh, leave any comments, thanks.